Hey guys, and welcome back to Fatal Frame. Let's continue, shall we? Now, I know somewhere around here uh, we've got a bit of a rough bit coming up. But I guess we're going to cross that bridge when we, when we uh, get to it. Okay, so let's see what we've got here. What do we have? Ah. Let's have a little search. Ooh, some Type 61. Very nice. Now, I believe in this... Ooh, there's a folklorist note. And apparently a big bang as well. <clears throat> For several days, earthquakes have increased in frequency. At the same time, crimson butterflies are swarming. Sometimes blocking out the sun. Somehow, they look sad. Villagers that see them put their hands together in prayer. The entire village has an air of impending doom. Oh. The village is fearful of the earth's fury. Perhaps the crimson sacrifice ritual is performed to purify the ground. In the past, every area had some type of ground pur purifying ceremony. Many of these offered sacrifices to try to calm the gods. If that custom still remains today it explains the stillness in the village the twin shrine maidens must be the guardian deities of this village the guardian deities the twin shrine maidens have become crimson butterflies ah, and are returning to the village interesting okay so the guardian They're kind of like guardians, then. There are flowers on display. Or at least the souls of the dead that are returning in some capacity. Okay, cool. Is there nothing here? Kind of get the feeling there should be something here, but whatever. Especially there. That looks very searchable. Alright, well, let's go. Something is rustling some jimmies in here. Okay, let's see what we've got. We've got a bag hanging up. At least I think that's a bag. Uh, yeah, some kind of bag or pot. I'm not going to worry about it too. Ooh. I'm going to worry about it too much. Hmm. Where are you? Wherever it is, it's over here. Is it that? I guess it doesn't matter. We've got plenty of Type 7 film. We can just blast that stuff off. Ooh. Right. There it is. A different place can be seen in this photo. It looks like the countless handprints on a wall. Okay, so we've got to go back now. Everyone's dead. I think the trouble is as well, a lot of this Japanese horror just doesn't affect me. Just like some woman uh, having a bit of a silly laugh. Doesn't really bother me that much. Um, I, I much prefer monsters and things. I just I don't find ghosts scary in the slightest. I'm not not really sure why that is. But, you know. Yeah. 
So they had to perform the ritual with Psy alone. Okay. Interesting. So only one of the twins was sacrificed? Question mark. Uh, we're going to give it a save just because uh, we have to go back through that room. And unfortunately, yeah, you know the one. The one with the Mr. Bad Touch. One hit kill. Not a fan of invincible one hit kill enemies. And I'm not a huge fan of what they're doing with the modern Resident Evils either. They seem to um, like their pursuer enemies now. Which, uh, I mean, I don't mind it, but I'd rather it wasn't that. I, I don't think we need a pursuer enemy in every single Resident Evil just because. Um, you know, Nemesis worked because he was Nemesis. Mr. X was just irritating until you found out how to cheese him. Uh, because obviously Mr. X was not like that in the original game at all so not really sure why they made him into another nemesis but ooh oh uh, that should have been it that really should have been it ooh hello who are you? A dragger? What are you dragging? Guessing you're dragging one of the twins? Ooh, the door opened. That's ominous. Right, if this is the room I think it is. Oh, it is. It is. This room, power up, blast power up lens. Raises damage and blast back. Spirit power required two. Increases damage. Enables slow blast back ability. Inflicts heavier damage than normal and enables blast back. Forces the spirits back. Even when it's not a shutter chance. To use, press the Y button when you've charged two or more spirit power points. Okay. Right, what we want to do... I actually definitely wouldn't mind giving that a go. Blast. Now, spirit power required. Oh, well, that's fine. I'm not really sure how this spirit power works. But I guess we're going to find out. This is a, a very small room, as you can see, and we're about to be set on by a lot of enemies, and we can barely maneuver, which, as you can imagine, is rather problematic. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, hi. Yeah, there you go. We, we can barely even move, and there's enemies, like, literally straight in our face. This room is absolutely savage. There are ghosts everywhere, and, yeah. Are we dead? Eh, we're not dead, but we're not f exactly far off. Right. <sighs> this really is a room where we're going to chew through shots. Yeah, I can't even can't even get out here. I think I used almost half of our healing supplies last time. Right, and I'm pretty sure we can't escape either. I'm pretty sure the rooms are sadly Locked. The doors are all locked. Hey, dude. Well, we missed you, which means you're about to get a free hit on us, unless we can run through your ghost. <sighs> okay. Okay. 
Right, let's have another go. Is there just two of them? It's interesting. I thought there was more. Right. Yeah, he's a tough cookie. He's a really tough cookie. Yep, I can't actually do anything with him. Now, the, like I say, the trouble is you're going to get caught on all the scenery here. It is a horrendous little... Absolutely horrendous little gauntlet. But we've got a couple of nice little shots off there. Right, let's move. Relocate. Can't move. Can't run through you. Get off me, you strange dick penis man. Absolute fucking pervert. And unfortunately, we're just going to lose a lot of health here. Oh, hello. She's back. Right, one down. Which is nice. Now, like I say, we've got this... Um, we've got this weird... Power that we can potentially use, but... And that miss... But I have no idea how we use it. Let's give it a go. Let's push Y. Okay. Right, so that's how we use it. Cool. So how does that charge? Will be my next question. Missed. We need to move. We really need to move. Okay. Yeah, sadly the combat just really is not set out very well at all for being in close quarters. But that's okay. That's okay. We're just going to keep wearing them down. Actually... have achieved this significantly uh, better victory here, I think. As long as we don't seriously balk this up. There we go. Alright. I actually thought there's three enemies in this room. Maybe that would have been a little bit insane. So we've got the diamond stack key. Which is nice. It's like we still can't do anything there. Some bamboo baskets and boxes. Yeah, we don't want the bamboo baskets and boxes. That's for sure. Oh, yeah, that was like the roughest challenge so far. Let's see what's going on with this. All right, so how also do we choose what... Oh! Oh no! The game's crashed. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. Well, <laughs> I guess we're going to have to stop recording that. I'm going to have to redo that again. Um, possibly going to have to redo that again tomorrow because I don't have time now. Bastards. Um, yeah, because by the time I replay all the way back through that, get that bit done, fight that boss, and then carry on again, yeah, we're going to be out of time. Um, right. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, does that mean the crashing is back? Do I need to be saving more often? Uh, I don't know. But definitely. Hey guys, it is a different day and a different take. So uh, we've finally got back to hopefully where we were. That went not good <laughs> this time round. Definitely lost a, a little bit more health in there. Um, but hey, it's fine. We used two healing items, which is okay. Uh, I did also experiment with the camera a little bit. Um, 
so we've now got that blast ability but when I tried this a few times before I couldn't work out why I couldn't actually use the blast ability and it was because we needed to upgrade accumulation because by default you only have one uh, energy orb thing to use your abilities with uh, but if you up, um, upgrade it it gives you two and you need two to use the blast feature so uh, we went in there and we used the blast feature and it's pretty good actually uh, and unlike in the first game I don't know if, if some of you games uh, some of you games some of you guys have obviously played the first game um, you had those similar abilities but you only collected X amount of items that allowed you to use those abilities it was like a special type of ammo and you didn't get a lot whereas in this one it appears as long as you charge the ability up you can use it as often as you like which is much better in my opinion anyway I can't remember if we listened to this last time before it crashed So it was a failure. That's interesting. For whatever reason, the ritual didn't work. Okay. Something to do with Miss Psy. I'm pretty sure um, Psy was the only one to be uh, executed <clears throat> in the ritual for some reason. Anyway, let's go. Because I really want to go back up now to that save spot. Oh, I thought it crashed again. I was about to use some choice words. Okay, so let's avoid that guy, because apparently he's still a one-hit kill. Whether we can actually, you know, do him in later or not, I'm not sure. Oh, every time it pauses <laughs> to load the next area in the next room, I kind of, I kind of sweat a little bit. Okay, I'm not sure why. <clears throat> I'm hoping that was just like a one-off crash thing. Because like I say before, it was crashing every 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, a couple of times every video. So, we'll see. Anyway, right, let's drop a save. And <clears throat> move on. Now, we've got the key. I can't remember where we need the key for... I think we need the key for a room up here, don't we? Now, like I say, this is as far as I've been in this game now. Um, we're literally caught up, so everything from this point on is new. And because I did... Oh, God. Yeah, you can see we've now got those two um, orbs in the bottom left of the screen there instead of uh, one. Ah, turns head. Hmm. If 
you take a photo of that place, does that mean you break the curse? I'm not sure. It looks like an old diary. An ancient village. Ancient village records have been stored in the ceremony's master's house. Many discuss the legends, folk tales, or rituals of the village. There are sure to be many records of folklore value. The forbidden ritual is also called the crimson sacrifice ritual. Ah, there we go. <clears throat> We've heard that before. Twins are used to help seal the gate to hell. There are two parts. The visible ceremony, which uh, occurs periodically. And if it fails, a hidden ceremony is performed. If all the ceremonies fail, the gate to hell will open and the dead will pour out. The skies will go dark. They call this disaster the repentance. The whereabouts of Manakata's threat Munakata friends, yeah, that do. Friends, the twin boys, um, Azuki and uh, Mutsuki, are unknown, which is a little troubling. If they are found, it might be able to. I might be able to ask them about the village. Okay, so we are losing. So he's doing his research in this place, trying to find out what's going on. Hmm. Yeah, so reading Japanese is not my strong. Ooh. Hello. Nothing? Can we not examine it? Really? Odd. Odd that we can't do anything with that. You would have thought, oh, look, a ghost on the floor. Let's, uh, you know, take a photo. There we go. Unlocked with the diamond stack key. Cool. So, ooh, hello. This looks interesting. We paused. We are supposed to be together. So we ran away. But everyone died. But everyone died. <gasps> Mayu. What happened? Someone was calling me, telling me to come back and perform the ritual again. The ritual? Uh, stay with me forever and ever. Um. Of course, we promised. For now, let's get out of here. Right, so we've got our sister back. Chapter 4, Forbidden Ritual. So I'm guessing <coughs> uh, the original two twins ran away. Butterfly Diary. There's an old diary near the place where Mayu was lying. Uh, Munakata and his teacher came to the village today. He said he was worried about uh, Izuki and came to help. But I can't tell outsiders about the village. Izuki locked up. Oh, right. Izuki's locked up in the storehouse. So that's the guy that was um, talking to us, saying that he could help us escape. I doubt that he would be allowed to talk with an outsider. Uh, Mr. Makabe made a picture of us with his picture box. My face looks strange, but it was interesting to see. He's probably going to be something because our cleansing isn't finished yet before that happens we have to help him escape if I can become one with you Yai I'll be happy that's the only thing that matters to me become one with Yai okay you put the butterfly diary and photo of the warped twins in your file can we actually have a look at the warped twins in our file <clears throat> Oh, I mean, we've got all of these here. Bro ah, right, okay. So it's telling us all these, what all these enemies are called. And we've got a lot of photos. Apparently it saves the 100 photos. Last 100 photos that we've taken. Protect, delete, delete page, arrange. All right, I mean, that's kind of interesting. File. Photos. Warp twins. 
twin girls wearing white kimonos. One of the faces is warped. Hmm. Right, okay. Interesting. Right, so we're on chapter four anyway. So, come on, might you? Really? There are dolls on display on a large doll stand. Must have been a girl's room. The dolls are falling to pieces now. Some of the dolls are even missing their heads. Ooh, that's not fantastic. Right, what have we got here then? Come on, I know something's afoot because we've got the there we go. We've got the filament glowing blue. Something can be seen in the photo. It looks like the same doll. Okay. The dolls are falling to pieces now. Some of the dolls are even missing their heads. Wait a minute. Didn't we see a doll somewhere? Before? Something can be seen in the photo. Okay. Alright, well, uh. Some of them are missing their heads. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess there's nothing we can really do now. So, let's go. At least we found our sister. So, that's something resembling progress, I guess. Ooh. She's still here. Uh oh Oh dear. Okay. I think... Does she want to fight now? Yeah, she wants to fight now. Alright. There's always one. Couldn't just be content with chilling on the floor. You gotta go and be all hostile. For reasons. Come on then. Let's do this. Yeah, man. Uh, woman, can you? Nope, that did not work. Let's get out of it. Right, so she's going to hobble towards us slowly. And then she's going to pounce, I guess. Where are you? There you are. Right, let's see if we can get a good shot on her. Use our ability. Come on. Give her one of them. Slow her down. No, you're right. You're right, Mayu. You're fine. I'm just trying to wait for an opportunity to get an attack. Because apparently these ghosts seem to spend an awful lot of time with invincibility frames. Which they never used to have. At least... I don't remember them having these annoying invincibility frames. Oh, hello. You are a sneaky one, aren't you? Yeah, I'm trying, but I've got to wait for my camera to recharge. There we go. Now where are you? Behind me, huh? Right, well... Oh, God, don't run towards her, you crazy... Oh, that was good. That was really good. <laughs> Shot her right in the face. Oh, hello. This should finish her off. Come to mama. Right, you're done. Oh, there's a doll there. There's a small doll on the chair. Okay, well, apparently we can't do anything with that. Something is shine. Ooh! They're old, but beautifully decorated. They're probably the heads for the dolls in that other room. Okay. Well, that was... That was easy. I thought we'd... Whatever we needed, we'd have to go on some... Um... A sound came from the doll stand. It seemed like inserting the heads makes the mechanism start to work. Oh, K. 
Okay. Oh, we've got like seconds to do this. Uh, fine. What? Uh, a? Where are these supposed to go? Uh, right, well, uh, sure. And we only have a few seconds to do this, apparently. Is that right? Are they supposed to go here? I don't know, man. Oh. Oh, look. There's... Oh, wait. Hang on. There's still two dolls with no heads. Uh, do we have to replace... Oh. Unless... Do these have to go on the top? The dolls stop moving. Maybe they maybe they stop after a certain length of time. What, you mean the big countdown timer that's on the screen? The two chosen to heaven. Right. So, let's... Take another shot of that. Um... Right, camera. Switch back up to the crap film. So, what have we got here? Right, so it is the two... Okay. So it is the two... Here that need to go up. Got ya. I think. <laughs> you don't know, man. Your guess is as good as mine. Uh, is that good? I think that's good. Uh, oh, right. That's bad. It's like Resident Evil 4 all over again. Uh, or something. Ah, bloody hell. Uh, gonna run out of time again, aren't we? Shit. Okay, this is going to be very, very annoying. Uh, okay. Uh, try that again. So, right, let's try getting this one out first. Maybe, kind of, possibly. Uh, shit. Right. You really don't give you a lot of time to play here. Right, okay. Come on. Come on. Uh, oh, shit. I could have done it. I fucking could have done it then. Son of a bitch. Yeah, 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 yeah. The two chosen for heaven. Okay, we don't need to repeat this every single time. Arr. Oh, come on, man. Th again, this is bad game design. Okay. So can't even remember which way round I did it last time. But that's fine. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of puzzles like this, to be honest. But I guess it's not the worst puzzle I've ever had to experience. Ugh. 
there we go. Oh, did it. Took about a thousand times, but we did it. The sound came from the small drawer, the doll stand, as if it just unlocked. There's something in the drawer. The butterfly key. And um, one second, guys.